I have never wanted to sledgehammer a cache of weapons and gold coins out of my basement floor more than I did when my wife tested positive. That actually happened mid-record. Heath, Eli, and I were recording an episode of GAM last Friday, and when we got done, I, I called her and I invited her up to smoke a bowl, but she was crying. She told me I probably didn't want to smoke after her, and then she told me it was because she just tested positive for COVID. Now, look, we've all been through a lot of shit in the last couple of years, so I understand that her situation isn't exactly unique, but Lucinda's dad has two really bad lungs. And he's on supplemental oxygen pretty much all the time. And that's on top of his fucked up heart and his fucked up kidneys. She's his chief caregiver, and she has been uber vigilant throughout this pandemic. She's always masked up. She washes her hands like a fucking surgeon. She only goes out when she absolutely has to. Contactless delivery on everything. Skipping family gatherings, holidays, vacations for years now. But of course, she's been doing that in the national epicenter of COVID denialism. Sure, Lucinda's always masked up whenever she goes anywhere, but she's usually the only one. She always washes her hands before she helps her dad with something, but she's not the only person that he sees. Hell, her own fucking family has been giving her a hard time about skipping on shit like family reunions and Christmas Eve gatherings, which her idiot fucking family has still been doing this whole time. So obviously, inevitably, she got COVID from one of those same stupid fucking family members that's been giving her a hard time for being cautious. And I'm looking for a sledgehammer to take to my basement and I don't even have a fucking basement. But then I got the next best thing. See, I got COVID. Of course I did. And then all of a sudden I started having these fantasies about John wicking my way through the Walmart except using my diseased coughs instead of a gun. Just rolling through one aisle after the other, hacking in the face of every unmasked jackass plague rat in the place. Or, or maybe go surreptitious and just start a lot of I think this COVID thing is bullshit conversations, but move in closer every time someone agrees with me. Right now, of course, as bad as I wanted to throw my hands in the air and go full epidemiological massacre, I also recognized that I'd be taking revenge against myself. Right. As bad as this shit already is here, it's a miracle they can keep essential services going at all. So as much as I'd like to cough in that Trump voter's face, that's the guy that fixes my electricity when a storm knocks it out. And as much as I'd like to spit on the face below that MAGA hat, that's the guy who puts my house out if it catches on fire. And as much as I'd love to shit in that Bible thumpers taco, I already need him to process my sewage in a different sense completely. Plus, because these idiots already refuse to wear a mask, socially isolate or take a free fucking vaccine, every one of them would John Wick the shit onto just as many people, whether they set out to or not. See, this pandemic has been a perpetual reminder of the way that a society will always be at the mercy of its dumbest members, and not just when they vote one of their own into the Oval Office. It doesn't matter how comprehensible and thorough the instructions are if the population is illiterate. And so as tempting as it can be to throw our hands in the air and be done with it, as much as we might want to climb onto a little hill, dig ourselves a big moat and watch these idiots kill each other off from afar, we're fucking stuck with them. And look, nobody sees the futility more than we do. Our job descriptions include reading through creationist blogs and watching Christian movies every week. We stare the functionally endless budget devoted to the stupidization of our country right in the fucking face several times a week and have for years. And nothing could be more tempting than climbing aboard a spaceship with a thin minority of people on this planet that don't fucking suck and dipping out to Earth 2 without telling anybody. But unfortunately, there is no spaceship and there is no Earth 2. One way or the other, we're stuck with these motherfuckers. And if we're going to cross the finish line, we're going to have to do it dragging their asses, kicking and screaming behind us. And that's going to be all the harder because they'll have given us fucking COVID along the way. 